the thing that's changed now is that, you know, I mean, look at the weather. This is August in England. Like, what, what was it like 50 years ago for you in August? Ah, it was beautiful weather, wasn't when it? When you look back in, in, in time, it happens every, every so many years. This kind of weather. Not, at this, not to this extremity. You know, if you look at climate change, it happens over like thousands of years or tens of thousands or millions of years. Whereas we have, in like in 200 years, we've become this industrialised population and we've created so much more carbon, so much more CO2 in the atmosphere that we've just changed things beyond, you know, beyond anything like we've ever seen before. And, you, you know, I mean, you, you look back yeah, at the last year, I, how the weather's been... What I'm been. saying is, what I'm trying to point out to you is, these ain't the main people. No, it's no. the government you've got to stop. Absolutely, and, and that comes from us as people, because the government, in theory... Uh, you know, they're, they're a democratic, it's gone through a democratic process and they've been elected by us, the people. And if they're not doing what we want them to do, then we need to say to them clearly, you know, this isn't right, we want you to change. And we've been doing that for a long time and it doesn't work. The government well, last year... Work. Well, I think it is because people are so much more aware now. You know, if you look at, look, I mean, look around you, there's a lot of people here and it's raining. There's a, like, I'm sure a lot of people would rather be in, in their houses. Oh, well. I mean, even you guys yourself, but you came down because you, you were interested in what's going on. I think the social movement's changing now because people can directly see it in their own lives. They can see climate change. They can, they, the, the science is now pretty much irrefutable. You know, most, most people agree that climate change is happening. It's happening because of what we're doing. And we have responsibility, not just for our, our lives, but for our children, for their children, for their children, you know, for future generations, to do something about it. Because I if think we that's don't act, a waste of money, all this place. Well, that's their decision. Absolutely. I, and it's I, not. I it agree. comes back to us. Well, it does in a way, but they... But they we're going to get caught on well, our taxes and everything. They, well, but if you look at the military spending that we spend, we spend like billions and billions of pounds each year on military. You know, we are turning into a police state in many ways. And we are, yeah, we're responsible for that in the sense of we, we are voting for the politicians that make these decisions. And, and we should look at ourselves, definitely. But the, the point I think we have to ask ourselves is, are all these police necessary? No, are the not. protesters, you know, are we terrorists? No, you're not. Are we looking no. for antisocial behaviour? We're no. not. We're looking for a peaceful solution right. to, to a human no. issue. And you, I mean, America's just sent that thing up in space. I yeah. mean, why can't you stop them as well? Well, this is it. You have to start somewhere. I think, you know, we start, we look at BAA, we look at what they're doing. They're trying to expand a runway that's going to take away 4,000 homes, potentially, in an area, you know, that's already over congested. And looking at climate change and saying, look, we have to decrease our use yes. to expand an industry that's responsible for so much CO2 emissions is irresponsible. So, and, in a, and in a way, it's totally, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't make economic sense, number one. And for the jobs it may create, on a long, on a long term scale, you know, if we if we destroy the environment beyond, there's a. Have you heard about this general agreement that if we rise uh, another two degrees, yes, then we'll 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 basically change the cycle of the earth oh, to a yeah, point where. But where's the four thousand people from around here then? Well, that that's are it. affected. A lot, huh? a lot of people have come, but uh, the problem as well is that we wow. have a really bad reputation, and you know, part of that is propagated by the police, part of that's propagated by the the, the politicians that say, yeah. you know, we're hooligans, that we all wear dreadlocks, we all smell, and you know, don't bring your families because you, you're going to oh, get hurt. That's rubbish. It's symbolic of the times in the sense that you know the police are so ready to become very aggressive very quickly, and you know people get hurt like that. Another girl was pushed over the fence, she, she cut her head, she was really badly injured. Thankfully there was media there, thankfully, thankfully the Independent got photos. There's, there has been a lot of media coverage of what's been happening in general, um, which, which has been really positive too, because at least it's showing people, look, you know, we need to do something about this. I think, it, yeah, it's intimidation in a way because, you know, especially for families, um, you know, we're talking about a social issue. Like, climate change is not an environmental issue. It's a social issue because it includes everybody. Like, everybody needs oxygen, everybody needs food, everybody needs water, and we all have rights to those things. And we should have a, a, a new movement of people that are acknowledging that on a broader scale. And the more the police are draconian, the more they are restricting people's movement and being violent and being aggressive, the more they intimidate people, then the less people are going to come to that movement. And we've definitely seen that in the local community because, you know, all of last week, we had a lot of support, a lot of local support, people coming to the camp, joining in the workshops, and we're being really proactive. We're teaching people like how to engage with, with this movement and how to, to really change their own lives and help, help, you know, help the issue. 
and and that's been positive. But then you know, come today with the protests, a lot of people just came back and said, "Look, we're not going to get involved because we're really scared." You know, we've seen the number of police. They've been stopping and searching people for very little reason. They've been arresting people for you know the most obscure random things and and they've just been you know really really closing down on people and yeah it's intimidating try and break through the I'm corner not, I'm not. you break try and break through a breach of bridge corner you're getting nicked all right simple as that i didn't do anything i'll give you a warning the way is this way yeah i know by you excuse me do you have any numbers on you you have no identification on you, do you? It's on the breach of the fence. That's how you get treated by the English police. And, and a lot of them aren't wearing uh, the numbers on the side of their yeah. shirt, so you can't identify them. And that's, that's part of it too, you know, that's against the law. And they're supposed to be enforcing the law. So, you, you know, when the people that are enforcing the law are breaking it, you have to ask, like, what, you know, how, what, how bad has this got? Like, you know, how far are they prepared to go to enforce what they're being told to do? And on a, on a human to human level, most of these policemen are genuinely nice people. Um, it's just in the situation, and you know, some of them are obviously much more um, into the, this kind of action as as some of the activists here are too. You know, that, that's something I think there's a lot of, of uh, similarity between that. But they're a small minority, and yet in the same in that, in that situation, in that kind of high energy field, like they are given directives and they are told be strong, be violent. Gordon, please, uh, Gordon, please, sir. Can I have my card back? Yeah, I'll leave, give it to you as you go out. Why sir. can't I film here? Sir, leave the cordon, Just please. Just tell me why I leave can't the film. Cordon, please. No, leave no the cordon. I, mean, I was just shocked to see like how how violent they were being and how forceful they were being with people. And you know, one girl was dragged out of the bushes by her hair. You know, there, there were girls, that were, and it was mostly girls actually that were being assaulted. In, in you know, as we were coming down here, um, so you could hardly say that they were being like they were in danger of getting hurt. And and that's it. It's not like we're rioting against them. Like we we wanted to come here so that we could bring this message to the wider community that we all have a, a social responsibility for what's going on, and they want to stop us doing that, and they're prepared to be violent. Um, and then you, then you have to ask yourself, is that political? You know, is is it part of the policy of the government now to restrict our movement and restrict this movement growing and stop the yeah stop the media? And Doris from Surrey did become distressed when her house flooded repeatedly year upon year, and so she took it upon herself to take our mortal telephone and phone up BAA on their Super 9000 digitally enhanced genetically modified telephone. <laughs> she said to BAA, please. Will you stop expanding your airports? Because I know it's not too late to tackle climate change, but very soon it will be. And if it gets any worse, I shall be left in no home at all. And BAA said onto Doris, Ha 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 change, it's not just about climate change, it's about social change, it's about looking at the way we live our lives, looking at how happy we are in our jobs, looking at the way society is, like we're a very violent society, if you turn on your TV at night, you know, you see mostly violent images, people are very, I think, um, self-destructive, there's a lot of alcohol abuse, there's a lot of drug abuse, like, where are we going, like, what, what you know, what are we here for, like, and it, it seems to be that this could be a really great opportunity to to address those issues on a, on a broader scale and engage everybody that's interested in those issues in a debate and, and really kind of form a movement where people say, look, the government isn't doing what we need, the police aren't doing what we need, let's do, let's, let's do what we need to do, you know, peacefully and openly and proactively and respectfully of all people in this country. Um, let's move forward and build a model that is sustainable because we just can't continue the economic growth that we have. It's impossible. All of the resources that we depend on are finite. Like they're going to run out. Okay, maybe they're not going to run out today or tomorrow or next year, but they're going to run out soon. They're getting less and less, and as they get less, they get more expensive. So the people that can't afford it, which is basically you and me, are going to get pushed to the sidelines, and the rich will continue doing what they're going to do. But you know, we we are at that point now. I think. Yeah, the, the police holding us back, it's its just one of the obstacles that we need to go around and I think today's proven that, like we have gotten here to BAA and we've, the message has been great, like the media have come out, people have been really supporting what we've been doing and it's changing, it is happening, I feel really positive about that.
Thank you.